So my simple question is, why are you funding wood stoves with the carbon tax? We're going to start with Mr. Zimmer. So, uh, Mr. Zimmer, you have, uh, let me get this on the right clock, six minutes, and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you, Minister, for being here once again. I want to ask you some specific questions regarding the REACH program. This is an original uh, program that claimed to, uh, its target would reduce 7 million litres of diesel or gasoline. One of the programs touted by you, Minister, as a great use of taxes collected from the carbon tax. Uh, my first question, how many liters has the program actually reduced? Uh, that's a great question. Thank you so much for that. We know that the climate is actually uh, uh, changing number, three a times. Number, a, a specific three number, Three times uh, the rate of, uh, of uh, southern uh, southern climate, so it's important that we so, have these sorts so of programs. I'll reclaim my time. I do know the Northern so, Reach so program. The had, answer to that question is you actually, want an answer? Well, you you just you used up your time to answer. So I didn't know you were so, the chair of this of know, this meeting. I, I'd say. Can we're, you pause? We're, yeah, trying to. Yeah, I'm, I'll pause here. We're just trying to have a good conversation here. Um, I'd say it, you know ask the question as you've done, the Minister. Give my him question a bit was of time. ten seconds long, and his response was at least thirty, and he wasn't even getting to my question. That's not. That's not right. So, we're but not, anyway, I, it's my time. Yeah, so so we have, so we have like five minutes left. On. We have five minutes on the clock, so we'll go back to Mr. Zimmer for his next question. Thank you. And, so uh, the floor is yours. The clock's running. Your your department actually has given it a number. It estimates that it's reduced out of. The 7 million liters, it's only reduced 2.6 million liters of diesel or gasoline, uh, but again, it's an estimate because you lack hard data. Uh, to date, Minister, question number two, how much has the program cost taxpayers? I can tell you, first of all, the Northern Reach has funded 210 projects since 2017. 11 hydro projects have been funded. The preliminary so how much has this particular program cost taxpayers, Minister, is the question. I can tell you that's an important part of the overall, uh, all of our programs to fight climate change. So the answer in the to North. that question, Minister, uh, he's, he's had enough time to, to, to attempt to answer. According to your own department, according to your own documents, you've spent about $66 million as of 2024 on that particular program to reduce 2.6 million liters of gasoline or diesel. So that is $66 million dollars to save 2.6 million liters. How much per liter is that, Minister? First of all, I, I question those numbers that are put on the record. I it's think from your those, own department, Those Minister. are... are it's from the, your own department. Those are numbers. 2022, 2023 okay, departmental sec, results report. Mr. Right Zimmer, just a department. second. We have a point of order. And uh, I am going to go to the point of order, but just to again remind people to please, you know, the Minister was trying to respond. And um, some of these that. things require more than uh, just a yes, no, a bit of context. But I agree the responses need to be short. But I'll go to the point of order first, and so, then we'll come back. So, to, Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, Mr. Zimmer's two questions were about 19 to 30 seconds. The minister had three seconds before he was interrupted in both so terms. Long. And if you want to take a look at this, I'm timing this by lap right now. So, it, Mr. 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 This, this time is... This is my time. Dan, Come this on. is it's not Dan, your time. And Dan's interrupting me yeah. as we speak. So let's it let's give, I, let's I, give I, it a chance to... Dan, you know you're new to the thing. We try to do things collegially no, here. Yeah. So we, we know each other. You can, you, can, you can do this. So this is what we're, we're doing. Let's give here. him ample time because we have Dan, people with hearing disabilities who are listening in. Uh, on this, and so have some sensitivity, sy sympathy, and sensitivity to our translators and to people to do the stuff. Anyway, Dan, um, I just want to get to thank the you. And uh, Mr. Zimmer, were you finished your question? Because uh, Mr. Uh, I, I already Minister, asked the question. I was waiting for an answer, which he was not giving an answer to the question. Okay, so, so, so I say, I'll, 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 I'll start the clock. The question. Okay, re and I'll start the clock, and you can repeat the question. Okay, we'll so, the, Minister, uh, so this is going to be a 10-second question. So that is $66 million to save 2.6 million liters. How much per liter is that, Minister? First of all, I question those numbers, and uh, that was something I would, I would turn to the, uh, the public service to answer. Quick answer. If you'd like to turn to the officials, if they have that response. What can I can say is that we actually exceeded our target. The 2.6 million liter is an ex Sorry, that's, exceeding that's our target, question, which was so I'll, 2 I'll million by that, March 31st, 2023. I'm actually asking how much per liter 
what did it cost taxpayers? You're answering a different question. Come on, come, come on, this is an answer. So I will actually give you the number. So that is over twenty dollars cost to taxpayers for every liter saved. But again, that is an estimate from your own department. But I want to get I want to get on to my next question. So uh, one thing that I found interesting from the same program, this is, uh, I'll get right to it. Wood stoves are one of the highest emitting sources of carbon for home heating, as you likely know, Minister. So I found it strange you would be spending carbon tax dollars on wood stoves. And this is the document. It's an order paper question we got right from your department. And I'll go right to the first page. And this is for the, the money spent First page, funding to support the installation of wood stoves. Page two, funding to support the purchase and installation of wood stoves. Again, another page. Funding to support wood stoves. And last page, funding for the installation of close to 400 wood stoves, Minister. So. I guess the question of it's an obvious one. This program, the carbon tax, is supposed to be collected to reduce carbon. And here you are as a ministry funding projects of one of the highest emitting sources of heat, and that's a wood stove minister. So my simple question is, why are you funding wood stoves with the carbon tax? First of all, I can say that, that we need an overarching strategy to fight climate change. And I know you don't agree with that, so that's where we differ right off the bat. That's a foundation. Now that's a detailed question, so I'll go to the, to the public service to answer your detailed question. Sure. Thank you for the question. Um, so part of what is um, a priority in the Northern Reach program is a self-determination based approach. Northerners so the question, and Indigenous- The question is actually about how much is, yeah. it, is, it, reducing, is it reducing carbon? Is it reducing uh, leaders, the target was supposed to be 7 million leaders, and you've even admitted it. It's only been 2.6 million. You haven't even met your target. And then part of the, the cost and part of the $66 million is being spent on wood stoves. Uh, I have a report from the UK that says wood stoves are, are 550 times more inefficient than even oil-fired furnaces in the north. This is supposed to be reducing carbon, not making it, it worse. The 7.6 target is cumulative. We have met the target in the year that uh, we were requested. The 2.6 buying wood stoves. Can you? Can you yeah, yeah just we'll let indigenous the, um, people get to respond. choose and have a self-determination based approach in terms of how they would like to replace diesel. This is replacing diesel, which is a huge consumer for it, carbon. It's diesel diesel uh, fired furnaces emit 5.5, 5.4 grams per megawatt hour of, of energy produced. Okay, Mr. Zimmer. Uh, a solid open fire or we're, wood stove burns 500 times that. We're out of time now. So we're going to go to the...